And now we'll discuss becoming licensed to provide legal services in Ontario as a P1 licensee. This is the final step in the licensing process. It is the act of granting licensure by the Law Society. Licensure is the result of your hard work and it signifies that the Law Society has determined that you are competent to provide legal services as a paralegal in Ontario. It's a significant milestone. To be licensed in Ontario and granted a P1 license, candidates must successfully complete and meet all the licensing and good character requirements established by the Law Society. All candidates who are eligible to be licensed as paralegals will be granted a P1 license using the Law Society's administrative pr process. The administrative process does not require in-person attendance and instead has candidates submit required forms and fees to facilitate licensure. As candidates become eligible, they are notified through their online account to commence the administrative process for a P1 license. The Law Society's Licensing and Accreditation Department notifies eligible candidates by sending them a P1 administrative licensing application package. Candidates are expected to regularly check their online account for such information and updates once they pass the examination and have completed all other requirements. In the online message you receive, you'll be asked to complete and submit the form called Petition for the Paralegal P1 License and Certificate of Fitness form, which will be included in the message sent to your web account once you qualify. You are also asked to complete and submit the Affidavit for Taking the Oath form, which will also be included in the package you were sent. You're expected to pay the application fee for a P1 license. And this fee is not the same as your original application fee, which were charged once you initially applied to the process online. This fee is for becoming licensed. You'll be invoiced by licensing and accreditation a few days after you are sent the information and to become licensed and must pay the fee in full once you receive the invoice. And lastly, ensure that all other outstanding fees charged to your account have been paid in full and that the address on file with the licensing and accreditation department is current as your P1 license and new member information will be sent to that address on file. Once you complete and submit all the items mentioned and satisfy all requirements, your file will be reviewed by the licensing and accreditation department. If all requirements have been met, your status in the licensing process will be what is normally referred to as licensing complete which indicates that you are approved to receive a P1 license issued by the Law Society. The information in your candidate file will then be transferred to your licensee file in the Membership Services Department of the Law Society of Ontario. Your P1 license will be mailed to you approximately two to four weeks after you are licensed and will contain your Law Society paralegal member number. You are required to reference this number at all times when communicating with the Law Society. The Accounts Office at the Law Society will send you an invoice for your licensee fee. On the website, you may click on the section called About Your Paralegal License for further information on payment of fees and the licensee portal that you must set up and activate in order to start receiving licensee information and supports. Any inquiries regarding these items should be sent to either the membership department, or if your question involves fee payment, please call the accounts office at the Law Society of Ontario. Insurance requirements for paralegal licensees. You may not begin providing legal services until you receive your P1 license number and arrange to have the required insurance coverage please refer to the Law Society's website for further information on insurance requirements for P1 licensees. Delaying licensing. Candidates who wish to defer their licensing must send a message to the Licensing and Accreditation Department through their online account, requesting a later date on which they wish to be licensed and providing the reasons for the request. Licensing process candidates are advised that they must be licensed within three years of submitting their application for licensing and successfully completing all requirements for licensure. Any deferment of licensure beyond the three-year term will require the candidate to complete such further experience and studies as may be required by the Director of Professional Development and Competence at the Law Society of Ontario. 
please contact licensing and accreditation for further information on licensing.